Hi, uh, my name is Mita Tihic. I'm Senior Solution Architect uh, for HP uh, Enterprise. Uh, I'm part of our telco group. Uh, we have a whole stack of different telco solutions that we brought to, uh, to the Discover this year. So I just want to do like a really quick intro and walk through what type of solution we are having for our customers. So basically, we are covering full stack uh, uh, in all different areas. We can actually help our customers build their own telco clouds, full infrastructure, full control, uni unified place, unified dashboards, having everything in one place. And you can uh, then basically uh, control full on cloud uh, end to end from that perspective. On top of the infrastructure itself, we also have uh, solutions for actual 5G core. It's fully uh, HP solution. Uh, we are partnering with a couple of uh, partners, but it's OEM, so it's white label and it comes as a HP type of uh, brand. Uh, we also have a full uh, focus solution in the RAN space, so all the other customers that need uh, help to how to set up the RAN portion of the 5G network. Uh, we have a dedicated optimized hardware, uh, DL110, which uh, uh, then we set up the different type of software, RAM software on it uh, with se several partners that we are working right now, Samsung, Airspan, JM and Wireless. Now, all of these combined together, we actually uh, can uh, use it to deploy full on public 5G for big service providers, for example, uh, tier one, tier two. But lately, we are uh, really working a lot in the space of the private 5G. We have a lot of interest uh, coming on that space. So again, we have a full uh, fledged solution that we uh, work together with our cu uh, customers to provide their own private 5G. And this is uh, actually focus of this boot. So in this private 5G space, what we are seeing a lot of customers want to be independent from the service providers. They need to have isolated network that can fully control, that is fully secure, and they can actually control the traffic and prioritize the traffic inside of the network. Then uh, a, lot of, a lot of times uh, they are also need to uh, uh, cover the situations when they actually cannot, uh, for example, deploy Wi-Fi or any, any, any other type of uh, communications or connectivity because they are having either environmental issues or maybe they have some constructions with a lot of metal and a lot of interference. So that's another use case when we uh, come up with the private uh, 5G. And uh, in the most of the cases, our, our customers also want to mesh those two together. So they want to have Wi-Fi and 5G working together. Those uh, uh, use cases are actually covered uh, uh, in the demo that uh, one of my colleagues is going to show you in, uh, in a few minutes. But before going there, I just also want to mention that, uh, so like I pointed out before, uh, we have full stack, full different components. They are all independent, modular. You can stop them in and out. But on the top of everything, we also have a full stack that we can do telco automation. So we are doing all orchestration provisioning of different network uh, functions, network services, and automated assurance. So once they are provisioned, once they are under con control of uh, our software, we can also immediately start full on monitoring, collecting different type of data, applying some AI ML algorithms that we have uh, developed on ourselves. And uh, the best part of this uh, solution, this tech on the top is actually all of these orchestration and uh, assurance, they can work together. We have a closed loop uh, concepts, then we can actually uh, uh, assurance itself detects some issues or potential issues. Based on that, does some root cause analysis and based on the result, can it send the, the request back to the orchestration and we can actually automatically remedy the service or and bring it back to the normal state. So before going to the demo itself, I just wanted to show you guys uh, a little bit about the actual uh, projects that we have done with some of our customers in the private 5G space. So one of them was uh, in the manufacturing space, so this is actually probably the hottest one. Uh, uh, we have a situation when uh, a lot of these manufacturers, they need to improve their manufacturing uh, uh, processes, of, especially analysis of the quality of the products. And for them to be able to really do that, they, they have all these super trooper, cutting edge type of uh, optical devices that they are collecting a lot of information, but they are not able to really move that uh, type of data uh, fast enough and process them fast enough. So they needed to build a 5G uh, type of network, private network, for that uh, purpose. And uh, we have, a, for example, car manufacturer, chip manufacturer, they are already using uh, one of our solutions uh, in that space. So similarly, uh, we were also working with uh, oil and gas, uh, one of our, our uh, clients. Uh, so in uh, this case, uh, we were helping them uh, to really cover the areas that were completely without any signal, without any connectivity, and they were really important for them to keep their operation up and live 24 seven. So we helped them build a network uh, on the oil and gas side. And uh, not, not only about enterprises or manufacturing, we, for example, in this case, we were work, working with the public safety, uh, with emergency services. So this use case was uh, 
obviously the ambulance and all the uh, they have to connectivity in the field. Usually they get that already from the uh, from the public uh, 5G or public network. But as soon as they are approaching the hospital or the location that they need to bring the patient or the people that need uh, help and uh, uh, health uh, healthcare they actually uh, switch seamlessly between 5G and private 5G and they can offload a lot of data and prepare the team, that emergency team that is going to help them with a, uh, with a, a patient and help them with the healing the process. So that was the quick through, uh, walkthrough to the use cases and just uh, wanna just to go back to the original diagram. So uh, like I said, my colleague Sunil, uh, he is going to walk you through the uh, all full mesh of uh, solution that we implemented for one of our customers. It meshed between 5G and Wi-Fi and uh, full 5G running on uh, HP uh, platform and HP server that he's also going to explain some more details about that. Thank you, Midhat, for the nice private 5G overview and also the walking us through the use cases. So my name is Sunil Mehta. I am the chief solution architect for 5G. And today what I'm going to show you is a cool box over here. This is our HP Edgeline 8000. This comes with like four cartridges and each of them is equivalent to a server and it has placeholders for all the three servers, right? Each of the Blade server will come with a, a GPU and a CPU uh, capability, right? So what, what we are planning to do is like we're going to put the entire 5G core stack on this box and this is capable of running up to 10,000 subscribers, or 5G subscribers can be connected over this. Plus, there will be enough headroom for running the application on top of it. So what this means is, this is going to have everything packed in one box. So this can be used in a, in a mining use case or in a petrochemical use case, wherever there is a requirement for low, high bandwidth, low latency, at the edge use cases, we will be able to deploy complete 5G core along with the applications. So this box comes with a, a nice uh, friend hall where it has a capability of doing uh, multiple ethernet ports. So the advantage of this is this box can be connected within each other or it can be connected to the switch, okay? So the, the way the 5G core stack will be installed on this is it's gonna have, use the first three, we're gonna install on Red Hat OpenShift and it'll use the three blades uh, to run the complete core, okay? And still there's plenty of room to run the application. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a cool video on how this all things comes together to life, and here we go. Before I show you the video, uh, I'm gonna explain the architecture, how we put together in the lab. So this is what the complete architecture will look like. We have the core, HP 5G core running over here. We have the RAN components running at the edge, and we have the different devices that's gonna be connected to the core on the private 5G network, right? So any typical private 5G device, which is supports CBRS, will directly come from the mobile. It'll go to the tower, and then from there it goes to the RAN and to the core. It gets authenticated, and, this, and the device will have a data session. Any device that need to have interoperate with Wi-Fi, the path will be from the device, it's going to go to our Aruba Wi-Fi access point, and from there, through Radius protocol, it's going to go to our authentication gateway, where uh, it will take the SIM credentials from the phone, and it's going to go all the way to our core to get the phone authenticated. Once the phone is authenticated, then Aruba will be able to do the data traffic by Wi-Fi offload. And then in case, if there are any 4G devices which do not support 5G, then we can support them over Wi-Fi, where the device will be connected over Aruba access point. Then there will be something like this, which is called the 5G gateway, and the Aruba device will be connected to this 5G gateway, which has a capability, a SIM capability. It will have the 5G SIM over here. And using this, it will be using as a backhaul to connect to the 5G network. So that's how we support any 5G device, non-5G device over the Wi-Fi. So let me play the video and show how a phone can be connected over CBRS. So we have used a Google Pixel phone here, which can connect over CBRS. The one you see here is a Band 48 uh, type new radio. It's been connected to our private 5G network. You can see how fast the data network is. Now we're going to play a video. You see there's no lag and the video just comes over and it, it, it plays uh, uh, fast. The phone we have tested, it's physically located in Boulder, Colorado, and the core is, this, the, the edge line 8000 is located in the Fort Collins lab. This is how we have tested. Just to show this is not a, a this is a real video. We're going to use, toggle the phone to an airplane mode. So now you can see the whole thing has gone to offline. 
and then there is no internet connection. So, so the, the full phone is now disconnected. There is no download, all thing is zero. Now we're gonna to toggle back to the phone on the 5G and you can see the phone gets connected in, in a matter of a second. And then the phone will have internet connection and you can see the download rate going up uh, as the phone goes, uh, goes on, right? So this shows how quick the 5G network authentication and also the data sessions can be. We have this live running in our Colorado lab in Fort Collins. And then the second part of the video, I'm gonna show you how it can interwork with a Wi-Fi, right? How a 5G phone can interwork with a Wi-Fi. So what uh, it's gonna come as this phone is totally on an airplane mode, no connection, it has no internet. So now we're gonna switch on the Wi-Fi. And when it switch on the Wi-Fi, we're going to use the SIM credentials of the phone to get itself authenticated. So what's going to happen is it's going to go back to our core network, get itself authenticated, and then it's going to have internet connection. So we're going to use the SIM AKA options. So now once the SIM AKA options is chosen, the SIM credentials have been taken here, the phone gets authenticated on the core, and now the phone has connected. So this is how we interwork between 5G and Wi-Fi. So it's seamless. The user will not know whether the phone has been connected on a Wi-Fi or on a 5G because HP uh, both Aruba as well as the Wi-Fi will take care 5G will take care how this whole interworking will work okay I'm good with the video thank you for watching if there are any questions please reach out to our sales team